Comic-Con is over, but the cleanup has just begun. Hundreds of thousands of people visited downtown San Diego this weekend, leaving behind, unfortunately, a big mess. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol is live downtown now, showing us the work that's underway to clean things up out there. Dana Marie? That's right. Good morning, Eric and Carrie. Let me tell you, it truly was an all hands on deck operation for the employees that were picking up trash, patrolling the streets. It was a 24 7 operation over the past couple of days. And what we learned is that this year was a lot more work than last year. With over 100,000 people in downtown, we saw a lot more trash. Uh, so with that, we almost doubled the amount of trash. We picked up over 49,000 pounds of trash this year. Just in a regular four days for us, we would usually pick up 25,000 pounds of trash. No, so that was Alonzo with the Downtown San Diego Partnership Clean and Safe Program. Now, you heard him mention 49,000 pounds of trash. Well, for reference, that's about twice the weight of a school bus and enough trash to fill 108 work trucks or 25 full trash trucks. So maintenance ambassadors were seen sweeping, removing stickers, flyers, disposing of trash daily, also providing extra sets of eyes and ears for safety. Now the stats are out and here's what they found. 2,700 stickers, flyers and posters were removed. More than 1,000% increase in that service typically needed in just four days here in the downtown area. Now, although it's more than a normal weekend, the number of flyers and stickers went down from Comic-Con last year, which, of course, is a big help for waste and cleanup processes. Now, ambassadors also cleaned 200 instances of graffiti, which is 24% higher than a normal weekend. And right now, you're going to see a lot of those wraps coming down from buildings, which are taken care of by private companies. So by the end of today, the gas lamp is really going to look like it's back to normal. One more year of Comic-Con successful here in San Diego. When we were talking to the Clean and Safe Partnership Program, he even noticed the sticker on one of the signs, took that off, and he says those are the final finishing touches that we're really focusing on right now. Yeah, yeah, it's a big story every year, getting right. the cleanup uh, done, kind of like our beaches after the 4th of July. But we're so thankful for all those that pitch in and help clean up yeah. our city. A lot of people in that one area right there, that's for sure. Absolutely. Dana Marie, thank you.